for joining me. I'm gonna show you guys how to wire up LED lights quick and easy, as simple as I can make it for you guys because it can get really complicated. Little tiny LED lights like this are don't want to light up when you just put a battery to them. That's because you need a resistor. And what you're doing is I have a 9 volt going to it and because if you put a resistor on there what that means is you're resisting the power and slowing it down going into the LED light. They use a lot less power than your regular old light bulbs that were made in 1990 and before. And what I did right now is I have this wired up and I have it on this little tiny flashing antenna bulb already connected for you so you don't have to sit here forever. But I wanted to show you a quick little trick before we get started is you take a lighter to your um, wire and it strips it real quick and easy instead of using your teeth. That's just a quick tip I've never it. soldered before. I've twisted my wires up together and I have some flux here. I'm going to put a little bit of flux on there, just a little dab, and I have my solder and it's real easy. I'm just throwing this in there just in case there's people that don't know how to solder. And if your tip on your soldering gun is dirty, take a piece of sandpaper and rub this on it so it can get contact. If your solder's not heating up, that's what you want to do is clean your tip off. I got everything hooked up for you guys so I can quickly explain to you as fast as I can so I don't waste your guys' time on what is going on here. If you're doing LED lights for like model ships, model cars, stuff like that, this is what this video was made for. Or if you just want to know how to wire up an LED light correctly. Spent hours and hours of my life trying to research on how to do this. Until I finally figured it all out. Trial and error. Okay, I have an on and off switch here. I have a battery source, a resistor, and an LED light. You must go in a continuous circle. What that means is, when you're coming from the, your positive side of your wire, going to your LED light, you cannot go to your LED light, come back to the battery, and go back this way to your on and off switch, and then go back to the battery. Everything must be hooked up in a continuous circle. If that was my first problem that I spent days and days on, trying to understand why things weren't working right. So, again, positive wire going to a resistor, to my LED light, to my on and off switch. So I have the on and off switch set up here and it's going back into the negative. Now, if this was put on backwards, going from negative first to the LED light, opposite these wires here, my LED light might not work. So what you're going to want to do is, LED lights work differently than regular light bulbs where you can vice versa the wire and everything will work fine. That doesn't work for LED lights. You have to feed the power from the positive side to the right prong into the LED light and then go on to your back to your battery. If it's not done correctly, it won't light up. Most of the time you won't blow it, you just got to vice versa and find out which way it's supposed to go in. Okay, everybody's going to ask at the bottom if I didn't say this, what kind of resistor and how many volts do you need? I'm not 100% sure, I'm not a professional at this, but I've never had a problem when I ripped a resistor out of an old electronic circuit board and tried to use it for something this small. My stuff always ended up working out. Any light that I've ever used always worked. Tiny little resistor here. I ripped it out of a circuit board right before I made this video for you guys and everything worked great. So if you're using multiple LED lights, I, I was able to use one resistor and still light up about 10 LED lights and never had an issue. So I don't think you're gonna run into a problem there but a lot of you have would have that question. So I hope this video helps you out. All I ask is a thumbs up. If you wanna keep watching, I'm gonna to continue to show you for those people who don't understand, if you wanna hook up more things on one little power board, like I build a model ship if you wanna check out my video. And on that model ship, it was a Santa Maria model ship. I put LED lights on it, motors, all kinds of little crazy things inside of this model wooden ship. And I just so wanted I, to show you guys this because I went, I went to hook up the motor in, into here, which correctly it would have went like this into it. It's not feeding enough power, but I just wanted to show you guys this must be a really strong LED light that I got out of an old cell phone flashing antenna. And it seems to work without bypass, with bypassing the resistor, it just works a lot brighter. So I'm showing you guys what a resistor does is it lowers the power. Do you see how it's not as bright? Check out the brightness from there to there. What you have is a really, really bright one. 
So, and then I wanted to show you guys if I was to solder this motor into here, everything works fine bypassing the resistor. So it's not 100% needed when um, you're hooking up multiple things. But if I do it from here with the resistor, the power has slowed down so much that it won't even turn my motor. So everything is trial and error here. I just wanted to talk to you guys about how everything must go in a continuous circle so you guys get an idea and that somebody can teach you guys correctly on what to do. Because there's a lot of nonsense on YouTube where people are just making videos just so they can make money off the advertisement. And they're really, really bad teachers and they don't teach you anything. Also, I don't know if I talked about taping up your, um, taping up everything if you're a beginner. You don't want positive and negative ever touching anything. So anywhere where you got bare wires, you're going to want to use a little bit of electrical tape and tape all that up. Um, because if they touch positive and negative, it's not going to work. Also, there is a product out there called Shrink Tube, and it's a tiny little tube, and you slide this on before, beforehand, and you take a torch lighter or a regular lighter, and it just shrinks the tube onto the um, wire. And that's a real nice product that's out there if you want to get all professional and technical. So I hope this video helps you guys out on wiring up LED lights. So thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up if this helped you out. Thank you.